Yeah, we're just running out of stuff for her to chew out. Last night she chewed up my neck pillow, one of my sandals, and um, something else. Oh, the box for my ukulele. Yeah, so that wasn't good. So the toys we've gotten her, she's destroyed already. Um, I haven't gotten to a meat store yet to get a, a bone like you suggested, Marnie. So uh, Pete remembered he had this plastic shake um, thing. So about three minutes ago, he gave it to her. <sighs> he was saving it for something. Apparently, he's saving it for her. Because she is just desperate to chew stuff. And she goes after everything I have under the chair I'm sitting in. I have a bowl with some of my knickknacks. So I can change out my knickknacks, you know. And uh, she got under there and was pulling my knickknacks. I mean, she is desperate to chew. So I'm glad Pete found that it's clean. And obviously it's food safe plastic. Obviously I don't want her eating it either, but hopefully she won't eat it. Just chew it up. I'm about to go practice for tomorrow because I haven't had a chance all week. So I've got a lot to do today. Um, yeah, she just looks like she just likes poking holes in it. She got the lid off within about 30 seconds. Screwed on tight, but I guess once you tear the side off it, the <laughs> look how big she's getting. I mean... I don't think she's getting bigger. I just think she's so big. 63 pounds on Thursday. I think she'll probably end up being 70 or a little better because she still can see her skinny waist and stuff. And you can still see her bones and still count her vertebrae. I'm going to go practice. I just wanted to show you guys that stuff. My pillows are probably not safe. Or the shoes that I keep right there. Yeah. I'm going to have to do some more. Uh... She always does that. She wags her tail. Makes the wind chimes go. Anyway. Oh, now she's got it flat so she can chew two layers. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go practice. I'll see ya. Oh, this girl has some jaws. <sighs> so, we're running out of things for her to chew up. This is an old CD case. Plastic zipper. Pete took the metal zipper pull off. She's not eating it anyway. She's just leaving it in the pile. And Pete keeps picking up, throwing it away. But yeah, CD case. That's the next thing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what she is. She just chews and chews. The more I think about it, the more I think, Annette, you're right, and she's younger than they thought. Because this much chewing, I can't imagine this much chewing in a two-year-old plus dog. I could be wrong, but I can't imagine it. We got Channy. When our Doberman, when he was five months old, and he never chewed this much once he hit about a year or so. Anyway, we're getting ready for company, so I want to go, and I'll see you later. After an out for a minute, I just, we're really dusty. <laughs> the car's really dusty. Anyway, my little spot for Maisie, they put somebody in, which is okay. We, it's just for one night anyway. So, man, we're packed in. They're using that beautiful gravel level spot for a parking lot. <laughs> so, lots of little kids on bikes and stuff. Careful, I don't I don't want to record. There's a lot of people out. I don't want to rec like blatantly record them sitting there talking and stuff. So that's a cute little one. But it's a big crowd. 
think I'll open the roof and let the heat out. Nice tent. Wow, that's nice. That yeah, is a nice, nice tent. They take their camping seriously. Nice. That's all, these are all, yeah, we're really packed in, so it's pretty cool. You guys looking back, I don't want them to see me recording. There's an empty spot, somebody left or whatever. It's a real sunny spot, so yeah, you can see all the way through. People are everywhere. Anyway, lots of them over here across, too. All right, I'm out. I gotta go to Dollar General, so I'll see you later. Bye. Well, guys, it's about 8 30, it's my guess. The sun's out again over there in the west, south and west, and uh. Pete's walking chewy, so Maisie took Pete's chair. Casey and Bill and the kids were here. Bill was fishing. He, actually, he was working up north. This is up north, but west side of up north. And um, he caught a bunch of trout. So he brought trout, cheesy potatoes, vegetables, Brussels sprouts, which Pete loves, um, cauliflower carrots. I bought a cheesecake, and I forgot to put out the salad I bought. It was like a, it had all kinds of goodies in it. I guess I'll have to eat it for lunch tomorrow. Um, I didn't get a ton. I just got a small dish of it because he brought a ton of food. Casey got a cheesecake. I bought a cheesecake for her birthday because we were supposed to go out for her birthday tonight for dinner. We were going to take them out. And then a bunch of stuff happened that didn't work out. And so we are going to... Um, so they came over here, and um, Bill brought all that great stuff and chicken legs for Casey because she doesn't eat fish. And, uh, I mean, she just doesn't like it, except fish sticks, which doesn't count. Um, so barbecued chicken, barbecued, or grilled the trout right over the open fire over here. Barbecue, or grilled the chicken on the fire we'll grill. And, uh, yeah, they, we had a good time, but it rained the whole time they were here. Just poured. We were more or less dry in here. I'm not really dry, but I'm also filthy because I have a dog who keeps walking around and jumping up on me and whatever. Right, Maisie? She was a good girl. While we ate and stuff, she sat in the bed and just laid on. We put the gate up to the bedroom and just laid on the bed and watched us out the window. She was really good. But Pete obviously put the tent up. And uh, we're going to leave it up. Um, the spot next door that's usually empty for, you know, where I usually walk, Maisie. There's a couple in there just for tonight. So Maisie and I have been walking around. But anyway, so I took some video of Bill and Casey and the kids. And then I, I dropped mishandled drop you know the camera it was all like my phone it was all wonky and you could see it making people dizzy then kim came over to talk about um some business stuff or whatever so she was there while i was recording so that was all in the background and then um i turned the camera off set it down next to me and like 20 minutes later casey goes you know you're still recording i just said i'm just gonna delete this clip and then I'll just, you know, get another one later. Well, later never came. I have her on this, which has two, two, two snaps, one on each end. Because um, the big, huge, the big uh, leather horse one that I've been using for her came unhooked today or yesterday. Or the day before recently so now i don't trust it i got this long one for like training her to come and all that stuff 
and um but i'm just using this instead and i got both hooks hooked up to her so if one came open she'd still be hooked right Maze? she's looking at me now she's looking where is my little brother so anyway i'm just gonna end it here and uh i'm tired i think our fire's bowed out now so I think Pete and I are going to go in and I'll take care of the birds. And then I think we're going to just sit on the bed and watch some TV. And I'll take my little laptop out that I love. And I will uh, probably answer some comments if I can think straight, which is kind of iffy today. I'm having a little brain trouble today. But we'll see. And then uh, if not, I answer tomorrow because we have no plans for tomorrow because we were going to go to their house for the trout tomorrow. <laughs> I ate my whole fish, and then I ate Leland's whole fish because he took a couple bites, and it wasn't his thing. He had a lot of vegetables, but so, uh, yeah, I ate a lot of fish, a lot of cauliflower, a lot of carrots, a couple of Brussels sprouts. They're not my favorite. I'll eat them, but, you know. And then Casey, I said, just leave me one piece of cheesecake and take the rest home. Oh, yeah, and we had a big bowl of sliced apples that I got from Walmart already sliced, you know, for the kids to munch on and stuff. And they're still in there. So I'm going to toss them with the little seasonings and whatnot, and bake them up for Pete. So he can have those. Um, and that should do it. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to pray for your pastors and uh, have a good Sunday. Take care. God bless and good night.